draft BGSU versus Northeastern. First band up is Kaisa. Okay. And for Northeastern, it'll be that Seraphine band. We have a new caster here with us today. What's up, what's up? Uh, second man for BG would be Bard. Banning out the supports early. Second man for man. Northeastern Hecarim. Graves for BGSU. Third band for Northeastern would be the Thresh. And BGSU has first pick. The Jin off the table. First pick for Northeastern. Jin's a good pick. First pick will be the Atrax. And the second pick for Northeastern will be the Echo in the mid lane. I think the sketchy website I bought this turtle from stole. Draft BGSU versus Northeastern. First BGSU band up is Kaisa. Takes Gragas off the table. And for Northeastern, it'll be that Seraphine band. And bye. So the Gragas potentially could be in the top lane here. It's a good pick into the Aatrox. It uh, goes pretty even in lane. On to the second band phase. Northeastern have been Nautilus. It was like there's a Sivir pick for Northeastern as well. Galio band. Lots of support bands here. Renekton for the Northeastern squad. That Renekton band tells me that they think the Gragas will be support. Pantheon band there for PG. Twitch for Northeastern. That'll be a Twitch jungle. That's an interesting jungle pick. Full AP Twitch is hot right now. Indeed it is. Leona support pick for the VGSC squad. That tells me that Gragas will probably be in the top lane. And they're saving mid lane for last pick. Looks like it. Or it might be... <laughs> it's just hovering that. Uh, it's the okay. Nico pick for the mid Nico lane. Pick.
and the rel coming to that support. So it is like Gragas versus Aatrox at the top lane. That matchup should go pretty even. Indeed. Here in about 20 seconds, we'll be getting into that three minute delay and then straight into the game. And that long three minute delay. A grueling three minute delay. <laughs> <clears throat> Lots of engage there for the Northeastern comp. Um, some peel for the Twitch and Sibir. Lots of CC there for the BG side with the Leona, Nico, and Gragas ultimates. Yeah, I mean BG looks like they're gonna they have a good team comp. Looking for fights primarily around Dragon, Baron. Um Gragas scales a little bit better than Aatrox does, I think. Um the Echo scales more than the Vi. And the Sivir and Twitch will also be pretty good in the late game. But if Jen pops off. The Jen so pops off, game. yeah. Jen pops off. It's going to be a hard game for Northeastern. <laughs> the Dark Harvest Jen. One shot headshot. Every time. Some good old sniper action. About a minute and 30 seconds till we get into the game. Your BGSU squad would be on the blue side, northeastern on the red. Why don't you uh, introduce yourself, Connor? Hi, I'm Connor. I'm filling in today. Yeah, I got the call and thought it'd be fun. Our uh, previous caster from last week is filling in for the support role for BGSU this week. Man, this stream delay, our spectator delay. I'm really excited to see the Gragas and Aatrox top lane, how that will pan out. Hopefully it's even, it should be even. <laughs> All right, should be getting into the game here. Very shortly. Looks like it's Sivir mid lane. We're on to the rift. Echo jungle.
Yep, it is that Sivir in the mid lane versus an eco. Looks like Vi is going to start her blue side. Or she may Lots just of, be warding. Lots of wave clear there in the mid lane. Looking like a little cheese set up from the rail and Twitch. As they set up in that first bottom lane brush there. Of a five point setup for the BGSU squad. Yeah, but it looks like Vaya is going to start top blue. And Echo will also start top. It is red. Path down towards bottom. Both junglers. Still watching for that bottom lane cheese. Fly, uh, that W out of rail forces a flash of Jim. Five minute cooldown, you don't have flash back up around six minutes. Lots of early trading out of the Twitch. Yeah, it looks like Northeast is going to start aggressive in the bot lane. Just trying to push that wave. Fighting going up here in top lane. A level one Gragas. Now it turns level two. It's looking like Vi is a little bit ahead of uh, Echo when they're clear. Good E out of Nico. Late spell shoot out of Sivir to block the stun. Echo Flash forces a Nico, or Echo Gank forces a Nico Flash. That flash would be up around eight minutes. Huge wave coming in the bottom lane. There's the buy for the gank. A good rel W forces the uh, Leona Flash, an Aatrox TP. Now, there's a smell you can feel. Echo pathing back top side. That was a good W by Jin there. A good E W combo with Leona Jin. Forcing out the flash out of Twitch. Rel W with the disengage. A gank coming in from by. Flash good. out of Rel. Flash oh, out of Leona. Good W by Jin. Yeah, the first blood to BGSU squad on by. Big wave here in the top lane. Looks like Echo's coming down to gank. E out of the Gragas. Fortunately, face checks the door. Good flash by Gragas.
flash out of Aatrox and no flash drag is Gank here in the top lane by Echo. And the first kill on the board for the Northeast and squad goes to Aatrox. Lots of wave clears there from the Sivir in the middle lane, forcing out Nico. A tier start there for Sivir. She'll be able to spam her abilities. Looking like Vi and Echo are both pathing the bottom side now. The wave will be pushing back towards the BGSU squad. Echo coming in for a gank. Sends a countering gank there from the Vi. Very aggressive Twitch. A good EW by Twitch there, a gank there in the oh. mid lane over the wall from the chickens. Bottom lane fight, Rel W on the gym, an exhaust on the Twitch. Vi coming in with a gank hit, a teleport out of Aatrox. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Sibir. Sibir with the return kill on Leona with that teleport. Is coming in for the gank on rail. Good return gank on the rail. Jim picks up the kill. Another pick up for Jim. A gank here in the top lane from Echo. An ultimate out of Aatrox. Echo showed top, so the DTSU squad is now pinging the dragon. The first dragon will be a cloud dragon. Looks like we're the, the first dragon. dragon. Like a gank from Twitch there in the mid lane forces out a flash from Nico. Ping's coming out for Rift Tail when we're decent squad. An ultimate out of Gragas. Maybe looking for a dive here with Twitch. Gank here on Sivir in the mid lane. Good spell shit out of Sivir. Yep. The ultimate on Vi. for that tower dive. Yep, that tower dive. A kill on the Twitch. A 1v2 tower dive. Unfortunately, that Rift Road has been picked up. Lots of gold there for the Echo and the Aatrox. Looks like Echo's stealing the buys blue. Blue buff there. W in from Rel. Q from Leona stops the engage. A gank here on deck. 
uh, Rico forces out the ultimate. Good sidestep, so good spell shows out from Sivir. Looks like there's a TP coming in. Shots. No flash, Nico forces the tower life. Pick up the Jin ult. Or ultimate out of Jin. Good uh, flash ultimate out of Gragas there. Forces. Ooh, what a Jin W. Of course, the Sigur ult. Jin W. Good Zonia is there by Gragas. And a shutdown there on Aatrox. Goodbye. A TP in. Leona engages an EQ under Rel, a flash out of Rel. On the night forces the kill onto Leona. The man immune picked up for the Sibber there in the mid lane. Jin on his way bottom. That was good all by the Nico there. A Rel picked Rel picked up the kill on Nico. Uh, double kill return from Jin. Good uh, counter gank here from Vi. A W there and from Jin forces the ultimate on the uh, from Vi on the Echo. An ultimate from Echo. Vi is now on a rampage, 4 0. Looking like a jungle diff. It looks like the Northeaster squad will take the first turn. Ping's coming out for Dragon. Should be spawning here very soon. Looks like Twitch is just clearing out Vision. Setting up Vision there on the Dragon. Spawn in 15 seconds, that'll be the Mountain Dragon. And the soul will be Inferno or Ocean. First mythic item picked up for Jin and Vi. First mythic item, uh, mythic item of the Northeastern is our Core uh, Drinker picked up for Aatrox and Hextech Rocket Belt for. Um, Echo Ooh, there. It looks I like BG him. will steal, yeah. The stole stole the dragon. dragon there with the Leona ult plus the Jin ult. So that soul there will be the ocean soul. BGSU has two dragons to zero. Potentially a third dragon could set up soul point for them. Some pings coming in the bottom lane from Vi. It, it is boarded like up. They do have a pink ward there in the tribe bush, so they will notice the Vi coming in. As you can see, the in a flash E out of Nico forces a kill on the um, Rel, a TP out of Zibber, and another kill forced on the Twitch. Kill picked up there in the top lane on the Gragas. Some top lane pushing there. And the tier 2 turret will fall on the top lane. And a 
exhaust coming out. A saber spell shield onto the um, Leona E. Jin is now 4 uh, 4 0 with that shut down on the saber. <laughs> Hello, chat. An eclipse there for the Vi in the jungle. And Jin also has his mythic item completed. Got those boots of splitness in the serrated dirk as well. That Jin's looking awful scary. Spell shield there out of Sibur. Q there with a huge chunk of damage onto the Nico. Rel W into ultimate. Here's the kill with the Echo E. That'll be a uh, tier one mid lane turret. There from the deep screen. Ultimate out of Jin. Clear the wave. Echo drops the second Reptile of the game. Secures the tier two turret for the mid lane. A very strong Aatrox Gorgrinker there forces out the ultimate from Nico. And a double kill there for the Northeastern squad. Now a tier 3 turret. Potentially an inhibitor here. A tier 3 tur turret in the mid lane there. Now two inhibitors there. A good Echo W into a Rel W, also a third Q from the Aatrox there for the Ace. Nico has now spawned. Two in hits down for the BTSU squad now. First Nexus Tower down for the BGSU squad. Baron is up in a minute and 20 seconds and Dragon is up in... is up now. Potentially a pick here on by. That'll force a northeastern ocean drake. An ultimate out of Leona stops the switch from potentially killing the team. I, I teleport in from Dragus. An ultimate we got a general. An Echo E with a comboed with his W gets a kill on the Nico. A TP onto the super minion. Potentially it could be a game for Northeastern. It's looking like game one there for Northeastern.
damage charts. That Dark Harvest Sivir really putting in work right there. Oh yeah, coming out, just doing the most damage throughout the entire map. Getting ready, hop in the game too. All right, so this game it looks like the uh, the red side will be BGSU and the blue side will be Northeastern. Northeastern will have first pick on this side. BGSU will have first ban. Just about to get into game two here when everyone's ready. Setting up lineups. <laughs> Hopefully, BGSU can turn around here. And force a game three. First band going out to Northeastern. Seraphine man.
Kai Saban there for the BGSU squad. Going for the Hecarim Band again. Bard band there for the BGSU squad and the Thresh band there for the Northeastern squad. Come on, I won't hurt you. I Olaf promise. band there for the BGSU squad. First pick Camille there for the Northeastern squad. I'm expecting a Galileo pick from the Northeastern squad that they're going to pair with that as long as BGSU doesn't take that off the table. Orin into Camille, a very safe pick. I do like that Orin pick. Most damage a tank can do in game right there. Jin there picked up for the BDSU squad. Worked out best, pretty well last game. Best thing is, Orn doesn't have to leave lane. <laughs> that is true. That passes. Twitch and Viego. There for the Northeastern squad. Viego is a powerful champ. We'll see how he can maneuver his passive there. Taking over people's abilities. Oh. oh. Looks like the egg was disabled. They weren't allowed to pick that. That was a good catch by the BGSU squad. <laughs> So I did find it weird that Viego was picked. <laughs> and for round two. They have informed me that Viego is banned. I see you Twitch chat giving out that love for the casters. Let's get a print train going, yeah? <laughs> Same picks as the first time we're going to do it. Yep, they're respecting the respect and the restart there. Now we're on to the third pick. It'll be Zoe there for the mid lane instead of the Viego. And a Fizz into the Zoe. We'll see how he can maneuver that with the Fizz E. On the Zoe bubble. Uh, second set of bands coming out here for the BGSU squad. A Galio band. A very good band that pairs up with Camille quite well. I must not fall. Her ultimate Hextech ultimatum can be paired with Galio's ultimate. The Viona band for the Northeastern squad. We 
They didn't like that Leona from last game. Locking yeah. him up. Yeah, they didn't like the rail either. Apparently nobody likes supports in the second half of the ban phase. We're uh, banning all the supports. I'm expecting a support pick here, probably. Oh, it'll be the Vi there for the jungler, actually. The Vi worked out last game. Potentially set could be picked here in the second round of pick phase. Twisted Fate Talon out of the Northeastern squad. Kind of wondering where their heads are for these picks. I'm also wondering the same thing. It'd be a very spicy bottom lane, I would have to say. Um, Morgana Jin. That's a good bot lane for the BGSU squad. There for the BGSU squad. Here in about 20 seconds, we'll get into that good old three-minute delay. Or it's our job to kill the time. It's kind of hard. It's rough. Looks like it's Twisted Fate Talon bottom lane. Trying to one-shot that gin there. With the yellow card into the QW of the Talon. Hopefully a good spell shoot out of Morgana can nullify any uh any of those damages, yeah. Yeah, um I mean in my opinion it's kinda of like a troll pick coming out of northeastern. That uh that talent support. Yeah. We'll uh we'll see how that see how that goes for them. Zoe versus Fizz this is a very um, guild matchup. The Fizz gets ahead, could potentially just one shot one shot the Zoe. Um, they both have to play around their E abilities. The E ability for Zoe is her sleep bubble. The E ability for Fizz is his um, troll pole. The Camille Oren lane should go pretty even. Um, the Oren pick is the has the most damage there in the uh, tank roll, I'd say. Is all Oren's alt also very useful with um, Oren's brittle ability on his W and his ultimate. He does percentage health damage. So interested how that bot lane's gonna go with the TF and the Talon. We will see. As long as those mis uh, those Morgana spell shields can work out. It looks like this time it is gonna be a Twitch jungle. Potentially level two ganks there from the Twitch. Mid and top are gonna have to watch out for those. Yep, and essentially Twitch can gank from any angle because of his Q, which makes him go invisible. The Oren pick of into the Camille. Um when she does her E off the wall, Oren can W her E and he will not be stunned by it. And as he's Wing her E, if she is hit by that, he can then proc his brittle proc. And he'll win the trade. Yeah, 
And we'll get right in the game here in about five seconds. I'll see everyone on the rift. And reminder that BJSU will be the red team and the North Northeastern will be the blue team. And it is that double ignite there in the bottom lane. They're looking for kills. Welcome to double ignite, double electrocute. Grasped in the top lane there for the top laners. Hail of Blades and press the attack there for the junglers. Um, electrocutes there for the mid laners. Looks like it's another five point start for both squads. Award there in the pixel brush for the top side for Vi. A bottom lane leash there on the red buff for Twitch. The top lane leash there and the red buff there for Vi. Red buff did reset there for Twitch for a, little, for a little bit. Twitch potentially looked for a level 2 gank here in the bottom lane. As I suspected. Ooh. Flash ignite there from... The Northeastern squad and a flash out from Jin. It looks like the Talon and TF both use their flashes there. Also the Twitch. Some poke onto the uh -oh. Fizz here. Electric Cute Ignite. Yep. Looks like Zoe. Zoe will take first blood for the Northeastern yeah. squad. The unfortunate event of level 2 trading. Trading here in the top lane. Right there, if um, Orin presses W, doesn't matter which way he's facing, he won't get stunned by that E. Lots of poke here in the bottom lane. For the Northeastern squad. What Orin wants to do here with that big wave instead of um, QWing those two minions, he should, um, that bit, that whole backline of, uh, Caster minions, you should QW those. That will kill the entire wave and then it will save um, him some turret damage. The control a dive here, the yeah. right top lane, an E onto the turret. Looks like Twitch will take the kill. Camille flashed out, tower. Looking like a thousand gold bead here for the workers from squad.
despite that first flood there in the mid lane, only about a 4 CS difference. Looks like Fizz will take the CS lead. Looking like Northeastern has a lot more warding there in the bottom lane. Don't want the same thing occurring from last game. Lots of poke here from the Zoe. Well, counter doubling here from the Twitch. So it looks like the Zoe's running low on Manny here. Potentially a gank on the Fizz here as um, Talon is sitting in the mid lane. Coming in for a counter game. Missed bubble there by Zoe. No ganks will occur. I'm trading some ward fighting. Zoe is now 6, has potential for her ultimate. Looks like she did hit a sleep on the Fizz. I got him with the Ignite. Yep, there as you can see the um, Orin W, the E, and didn't um, get stunned. Good QW there from Morgana. Looks like Twitch is looking for a gank here. A dive potential there on the Orin. Ends in an Orin kill. Bison looking to set up something here. Yep. Looking like maybe here a fight in the bottom line. Twitch is on the way to his red buff. Could potentially counter gank. Nice Q there by Morgana. A big wave there to gank in. Uh, forces oh. the TP out of the middle. Double flash. Here comes an Ornolt. On the bottom lane. It's another Camille. Camille. Some good layered CC onto the Camille. So maybe just looking like some plates here for Northeastern. Potentially a dive. That's where they're going for it. A good flash out of Orin there to counteract the Hexec ultimatum. Oh, I'm sorry, the uh. Yep. Um. So if you saw right there, Orin E'd the tower, and as he E'd the tower, because the Camille was right there, the Camille actually E'd the tower also with her E, but pulled it very short so she wasn't hit by the Orin um, knockback. And another kill picked up there on the buy. Got a 4k gold lead now here for the Northeastern squad. Camille's looking to trade on her second Q, so she'll Q minion. And then she'll E the wall and hit Orin and then Q the Orin. And that's how she gets her trade then. It's 
Hopefully they dive here. Good slow by Oren. Flash out played there by the Camille. Flashing the brittle damage. She um got that shield with her W. Looks like plate gold there going for the Twitch. Like about a 50 CS lead there in the top lane. I'll sleep in onto the Vi and the ult Talon Ultimate Force to get the kill. Lots of damage there from the Twitch. Just sitting right outside of tower range with his ultimate. Forces a kill on the ward. Now potentially a first tower take there. It's like Zoe lane. just hit her sleep on the Fizz. Lots of poke damage there with the electric cube. Camille is up to try and get some plates off. Try to destroy the first tower. Twitch on his way to Fizz in the mid lane. Oh, hello. <laughs> now some plates shared with the Twitch and Zoe here in the mid lane. Good unstoppable stops the E stun from the Camille. Looking like a first turret here for the top lane of the Northeastern. A Hextech ultimatum stops the um, E knockup from the Orin and the ult uh, E stops the ultimate also. BGSU looked for a gank there in the bottom lane. Talon jumped over the wall with a Z. They got Jin all here. <laughs> Bell shield into an ultimate into a W. From Jin into a Q. From Morgana. The Gale Force completed the Jin or the um Twitch, I'm sorry. Gale Force still left and gets the double kill. First mythic items completed on the northeastern squad, Gale Force for the Twitch. And the item completed for the Zoe. Thirteen minutes in, still no dragon picked up. First dragon there is the cloud dragon. There's a wind drake. Almost a 10k gold lead now there for Northeastern squad. Red Smite into an auto forces an E out of his. And it's looking like the tier 1 tower in mid lane will drop. A push in here from the bottom lane potentially could force a win break for the Northeastern squad. 
maybe looking for a dive here with the Zoe and the Twitch. Looks like the BGSU squad just gonna give that first tower there in the bottom lane. Camille now counter dungling on the bear. Bye. A Q odd out in Q into a kill on the Levi. A good ultimate into the one ultimate. Misty there by Camille. Looks like there was a missed ult there by Fizz too on the Talon. Talon is standing on a wood. So they do know where he is. E forces a flash out of the Orn. W slowed. Lots of autos. There's a Knight on the Jin by Zoe. And he picks up Ultimate the kill. Ultimate on all auto um, into the Ignite, forces the Attribute onto the kill there for Jin. Oh, it's looking like a tier 2 in the bottom lane there. A good E out of Fizz. Counteract the Camille. E. Ooh, what a sleep from Zoe. Why not? The sleep there from Zoe forces out a kill on the Fizz. A general potentially could have had a kill on the CF there. Another sleep on the Morgana by Zoe. An Ornon coming in. Zoe slipped over the wall. Alt is queued. Flash to get her W. Prox off. That was a good and stun by TF there. Which killed up, cleaned up the kill there. A good uh, stun on the wall there for Orin. Killing screen now for Orin. Missed all by Fizz. About a 12,000 gold lead here for the Northeastern squad. About 17 minutes in, still no dragon picked up. Baron spawn in about a minute and 45 seconds. That's what pings out for Dragon there. By the BGSU squad. Some good boarding there in the jungle. Potentially could have spotted out the Camille there. A Rift Tail drop there in the top lane. As you can see, the Northeastern we'll squad is walking bottom lane. Potentially get that tier 3 tower. Simultaneously, their hair tail just hitting the two two tower of theirs. The Jin ultimate forcing the Northeastern squad to back off, while the Warren continues to push there in the bottom or in the top lane. 
two three turret taken down. I hack deck ultimatum into a uh, um, E into the black shield of Morgana forces a kill onto the Camille. Also, they pick up a kill on our OPF. Looks like bottom mid him for BGSU has been lost. An Orin ultimate here, looking to get a kill onto the Talon there. A flash out of Talon. Forces a killing spree there for Twitch. Shut down from a gun on the Zoe. A good flash Q predict there from Vi. Gets to shut down maybe some pings here for the dragon. Camille is walking into the GSU jungle. Not spotted yet. There were no drag. 21 minutes in, still no first dragon started up from either team. Baron is up. Jin clearing the supers in the bottom lane. Lots of shutdowns there in that last fight. Helped BG potentially clear some of that gold loot. A miss flash over the wall from Orin here. A good E. They just, they just caught him there. Mid tier 2 there. On EQ into an couple autos from Twitch causes the Morgana father of death it is now 22 minutes in game and the first dragon has been killed it looks like it's gonna be BGSU picking up the first drag unfortunately the trade off for that is the mid inhibitor definitely pushing for more and one all coming out here Trying to peel for his team there. Kill picked up on the Camille. A good E on the Rizoli from Orin. A nice bind there on the Talon. An ultimate there on the TF. Ignite down on Twitch. And a shutdown on to Twitch. A W kill there for the TF. And the Zoe flash. Fizz flash there and the Zoe picked it up for their W. I'll sleep and do a RQ ignite electrocute. It's a kill there for the fizz. Yo, TP Zoe, coming in. Yo, he picked up the Gale Force with a W. W forward. An E from the Camille. Gets a kill onto the gym. A good E there from Orin on the wall. Get a killing spree there for the buy. The BGSU only has one Nexus Tower standing. Second dragon of the game will be in three minutes. It'll be an Ocean Dragon. Baron is up. Ping coming out from Baron. Potentially. Looking like the Northeast squad is going to set up the top line there. Try to push in those towers because they're mid and top are continuously pushing with those supers.
Ping's coming in from the red team, see if they can respond. Fizz there is off in the bottom lane. Two boots and Jim in the middle. The good spell shield neat. Negated uh, Zoe Sleep. A good Q in from the Vi. Forces a double kill. A nice 3v5 here for the red team. The yeah, Jin ult. Jin ult the gets the kill on the PF. And an ace there for the BGSU squad. That was a really good team fight there. Ping's coming in to help the Nexus turret. Double supers hitting that. Bottom lane inhibitor does respawn. All What's mythic up? items are now complete for the BGSU squad. Eclipse there for the Vi. Uh, Hectech rocket belt for Fizz. Gale Force for the Jin. Leandre's torment there for Morgana. Lots of Gale Forces there for the uh, Northeastern squad. Yeah, it looks like every champion has a Gale Force for the Northeastern squad. Yeah, Bright needs to nerf that item, but we don't, we don't need to talk about that. Bright needs to do a lot of things. <laughs> Maybe fix her client too. Baron here for the Northeastern squad. Ocean Dragon will be spawning here in 40 seconds. It's looking like the Orin has now hit 14 as he just now upgraded the Gale Force for the Jin. Good Vi will take bottom tower. Ping's coming there in the top lane. Looking for that tier 2 tower. Ocean Dragon will be spawning in 14, 15 seconds. Three people are now on the top lane there for the North Eastern squad as they're going to give Ocean Dragon up for more towers. The Gale Force forces out the E of Orm. A good Q first uh, tower shot on the TF. They've slain the Dragon. And, uh, Gale Force into a yellow card into the Hextep Ultimatum gets a kill for the Northeastern squad. Looks like top inhib will fall. And it looks like the game is over. Yeah. Looks like that'll be game. Northeastern like with the win. Ultimatum kills by into a kill on the lower end. Talon trying to stop the recalls. Gale Force maybe quite potentially could stop the Fizz. Hourglass there from the Fizz. A QE into the W. Ignite is a kill on the Talon. There's the end for Northeastern. And Northeastern squad into the game.
If that game doesn't tell you Gale Force needs nerfed, I don't know what does. Yeah. My name is Dylan. Um, I enjoy casting for you guys. I'll probably be back next week. Yeah, I'm Connor. I don't know when I'll be back, but it was I had fun casting. I'll see you guys later. Yep, see ya.